So it's day five, it's just gone six o'clock, and we're in the car, driving back down to where we finished yesterday at Stankucha. Um, it's about a 45 minute drive. Today we've got, I think, 25 miles on the clock to get from Stankucha to Harshava. And yeah, it's gonna be a difficult one today, I think. Tired, um, but developed a couple of problems from yesterday that are not ideal so early on in the trip. So my little toe, which has been a problem for me in the past, it's uh, it sort of sits a little bit more too close to the other toes and sometimes gets rubbed underneath and it sort of takes the, the take blisters the up and it can exit. take the skin off the top of the toe quite badly. And just towards the end of yesterday, I started to feel it. I didn't think it was too bad, uh, but that's blistered up really quite bad. It's very sore and I've got it wrapped. Uh, sort of in, in got a blister plaster on it I've got some sort of tape on it and some other things to try and just get some toe separation there but it's a worry because this kind of thing it doesn't necessarily get better um, it's painful sat here in the car right now I've got a problem on my right heel where I think the cup of the speed twos the insole has just caused a bit of rubbing that one I got the got this sort of knit syringe out yesterday and drained it poked around with that and that's dried out a bit and I think that one provided I'm careful with how I move on it that one will dry out and heal the toe the roundabout. is something that in 300 meters a couple of years ago ended me up in A&E &E. so that's a bit of a worry to be honest and it's cut it's kind of clouding my I feel a bit negative this morning I feel a bit down a bit worries going on this morning but the other thing I guess John is leaving me today so it's mixed up with that it's been really nice to actually have the company and the security of knowing someone's going to pop up every 10 miles and give you some water or just or just a bit of a smile or whatever um, and having the company that's been very nice but I knew this was going to be sort of some of the mission was going to be solo and that's kind of what I came for. So John's been saying, said to me, it's time to take the stabilizers off. And uh, it's a fair point. It is time for me to go out and get on with it. Um, I just, I wish I was feeling, I wish I didn't have these two niggles to worry about at the same time. Those two things coming together is weighing me down a bit. But um, I think today the strategy really, because it's kind of painful to put my foot down, is going to be to walk. Um, I need to get that toe in better condition and I don't think that's going to happen if I run on it again today I think it's going to deteriorate so walking today which means another long day I was hoping for a shorter day today in the field because we've done a nine and a half and an eight hour but listen all I can do is try and get from A to B that's all I can do as best I can in the best shape that I can and it doesn't really matter how long it takes I guess but I have to. The other thing, when I get to the other end, I haven't got any accommodation organised so or anywhere to sleep. So I've got to do that as well. This will be the first time that that's happened on the trip. So we've got some new challenges to, to face up to today. Um, I think we're going to do a bit of road. I think we're going to end up on a little bit of kind of countryside dam territory again. So the ever-present dog situation will be on my brain as well. Um, the pack today, I think I've got some resupply nutrition and stuff in it that John's brought with me so the pack I think is going to be slightly heavier today so got a lot on my plate today people <laughs> um, but anyway we'll, we'll be starting in about sort of 40 minutes and yeah I'll update you throughout the day about seven o'clock we're in Stankuta and we are going to Harshava today um, it's about 20 degrees already apparently we're going to take a slightly different route we're going to take some of the road and then probably the dam I am tired today I'm grumpy I'm pretty fucking miserable um, yeah this is this is the hardest day yet but anyway let's get on with it let's go and do it that's what we've got to do 
I think I'll be better once I'm moving and once I get some miles in and start, yeah, yeah, anyway, that's it, that's it. So today is the day that John leaves me. Um, it's been an absolute massive help, like getting me started in this. I think there's definitely, I would have underestimated how hard those first four stages would have been with the wilderness, with no water, just, yeah, having the company, the extra brain power, the smart decision-making, route planning. You're welcome, bud. It's been a pleasure. No problem whatsoever. So we're about seven miles out of Harshver and finishing up. The last seven miles are going to be on what is a two lane, very busy road with trucks. God knows what. Basically, I'm just walking through roadkill here under my feet and um, feet are blistered, tired today. Got a lot of pain in the feet, different places now. Um, that's been, you know, when you get that kind of pain, that's a bit draining for the day. It's very hot, it's about 32 degrees. Um, but I guess, you know, silver linings and all, when I'm, when I'm with the trucks, there are no dogs. So, I don't know what's worse. 110 mile an hour trucks or rando dogs. Anyway, we've got 12 kilometers to go, seven miles to go. And then we get to put today in the can, forget about it and move on. Trying not to show you my emotions, now you sail away. So I'm about 10 k's from home. And I'm up on a bridge for my first foot crossing of the Danube over here. It's huge. This bridge must be nearly two miles long, two miles wide. I can feel it wobbling under my feet as the trucks roll over it. What a stunning view of this absolutely incredible river though. Absolutely fantastic. Now the first rain I've encountered, which is actually strangely refreshing, but I don't really want all my kit to get wet. But it keeps coming and stopping and starting and stopping and my jacket when I put it on is too hot and too cold and too hot and too cold. So. So how to wrap up day five then? Well, undoubtedly today has been the most challenging of the days that I've done so far. Um, just things come together, you know, like feet sort of blistering and started to hurt for the first time after yesterday's run. So I had that to contend with this morning. Decided to walk quite a lot of it to try and give those a rest to hope that they might kind of sort of heal a bit or whatever, just um, take the pressure off a bit. So I walked a lot of the miles today. Also John, who's been out here supporting me on the first sort of four days, gone home. So I had to say goodbye to him this morning and it's been a great kind of comfort and just having someone else to sort of do some of the thinking for you a little bit, turn up with water at certain places, discuss the route. And there's no there's someone there. You know, now I'm out here on my own, you know, it can feel a little bit more exposed. You're a little bit more kind of, you know, solo adventurer, but that is part of why I came as well. And then the route, it was a really mixed bag really some out in the wilds wilderness up on you know similar kind of running these kind of muddy tracks or compacted mud tracks the forest to the left and, and other stuff to the right I went through some proper sketchy areas though where you know they're only you know, just sort of run down 
sort of farms, not many people about, just the kind of places that it, the, net, the route took me through, they just think this is, this is dog territory for sure. And there's not many humans around. I saw quite a lot of farmers with their flocks of sheep and goats and cows along the way. They had dogs and actually today was fine. A lot of them were friend, friendly and I kind of got into this thing where I'll sort of, as I'm a bit of a distance off, they see me, I'll wave at the farmer kind of gestures to the dogs and sort of say is it okay and they tend to sort of be all right but it is an ever present you know it's um and it's mentally taxing to have to think about it um and then you wish for when that's over like you wish for that you go oh i to get on the road now uh so i don't have to worry about that and the road bit was proper busy it was like a really fast moving a road with truck after truck after truck all hammering along and I had like a tiny bit literally like riding alongside a dual carriageway essentially really exposed dangerous fumy just horrible up and over a bridge flip of that is that I got my first kind of foot crossing of the Danube today and got to go up onto one of these bridges enormous I mean the bridge must have been like a kilometer and a half wide and got a special view of the Danube just to see how vast it is and that was that was lovely and that was a real boost with about seven k's to go and then with about kind of three miles out it started to rain so i went in my pack got my jacket out somewhere between there and getting into the town i've lost one of my water bottles i don't really know how i didn't really hear it hit the floor didn't have any headphones on or anything like that it just must have dropped out at some point when i was wrestling with the jacket and so i've lost one of my raid light 800 mil bottles which sits in the pack really nicely so you know, there's just a few things, these things, you know, they're, they can overcome them, but it just can feel like, you know, at that point when you're so tired, you've got two Ks to go, you realise you've lost the bottle. It's just another thing. You think you don't need this to be made harder than it already is. Um, when stuff like that happens, sort of goes against you. But yeah, tomorrow I think we'll, I'm gonna have to go and sort of see if I can basically just take an old school plastic bottle and, and hopefully that will fit in the same place and stay. And if it does, that's fine, um, no problem. But yeah, just annoying because they're good bottles actually, they work really well and it works with the pack really nicely so I was just a bit frustrated about that. And then eventually kind of sidled into here where I'm in, in Hersheva, um, after about I think it's about like 24 miles and my sister booked me into this place here which is, I've got a lovely little apartment room and the lady came up and she showed me two rooms and said you can choose which room, took me to one which had its own bathroom was the other side of the hotel and she brought me in here and said you have to sort of share a bathroom but check it out see if you like it and I came out here and when I stepped into the room and saw the view absolutely exhausted emotional I damn near blood my eyes out just to see that and it's like an oasis of calm here and to get that river view as a finisher to today is just means an awful lot it's, it's spectacular I mean it's absolutely spectacular what a place to recuperate so yeah, tough one, tough one today, but it's done. And we're a step closer, had a little sleep earlier and we just got to process, sort out, fix up the feet, eat, do all those things, get some good sleep tonight and just get ready to go again tomorrow. You know, you just got to take these, even the hard ones, we've got to take it one at a time, you know. It was a shorter one as well, so it was, I was hoping it was going to be an easier one. It wasn't and the shorter ones, if they're not, and the heart long ones, but who knows? Tomorrow might it's a long one. It might be easier than the short one. Anyway, we will see. We can only do what's in front of us, and just keep moving. I am the message in the bottle floating down the river here. Um, I am going to make my way steadily to Germany, one foot step at a time. Um, I'd quite like to go by that boat, but anyway, I will update you again tomorrow. Hopefully, if I get time, and yeah. Thank you for all your kind messages of support for everyone. Don't forget you can donate by hitting the, the link in, in the charity link in the caption of this video, if I can put it in. I think I've been forgetting to. Um, it's in some of the captions of the other ones. And also if anyone wants to come run with me, check out the route, hit me up. I'm open, I'm open for company. You know, take care people, speak to you soon.